Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about Floyd Warshall algorithm. Floyd Warshall algorithm is used to find the shortest distance between every pair of vertices in a weighted network. The Floyd Warshall algorithm is introduced by Robert Floyd and Stephen Warshall in the year 1962. This uh, Floyd Warshall algorithm is also known as Floyd Warshall Fulkerson algorithm. It is because Dr. Fulkerson who also made significant contributions to the development of the algorithm. The Floyd Fasher algorithm is used dynamic programming to uh, find the shortest path. Dynamic programming is a technique for solving complex problems by first breaking into a collection of simple pro sub problems, solving each sub problem just once and then storing their solution to avoid repetitive computations. Now we will see how Floyd Warshall algorithm is applied in a weighted network through a simple example. This is a graph consisting of four vertices 1, 2, 3, and 4 with 5 edges. Now, first we will find the distance matrices. Here, A0 is the distance matrices. This first row and first column represent the vertices of the graph 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, now we fill the distance matrices in such a way that First, we keep all the diagonal elements as 0. Then we find A0 element A0 1 2 by checking the weight of the edge from 1 vertices 1 to 2. Here the weight of the edge from 1 to 2 is 4. So we will fill in this A0 1 2 by 4. Next we will check the weighted edge weight of the edge from 1 to 3. Here it is 1. So we are filling by A0 1 3 by 1. Then we check uh, edge, uh, weight of the edge from 1 to 4. Here, here there is no edge from 1 to 4. So we are filling A0 1 4 by infinity. This way we find the we find for all the vertices of the graph and complete the distance matrices. After finding the distance matrix matrix, we perform first iteration. Here in this graph there are four vertices, so we will perform four iterations. In the first iteration, we obtain matrix A1 from distance matrix A0. We obtain matrix A0 A1 in such a way that we fix first row and first column and also the diag we keep diagonal elements also keep unchanged. So in uh, the remaining all the elements will be changed in the A1 matrices. We'll change the elements by using the formula A1 ij equal to minimum of A0 ij and A0 i1 plus A0 1j. So we'll see for this element how we'll find A1 2 3. So formula will be minimum of A0 2 3 and A0 2 1 plus A0 1 3. So it is minimum of 2 in 2 and infinity it will 2. Similarly we find for all the remaining elements. So we will get A1. In second iteration we obtain matrix A2 from a1. This is a matrix A1 obtained from the first iteration. We obtain A2 in such a way that we fix second row and second column and also the diag keep diagonal, diagonal elements also unchanged. So we find the all the remaining elements using the formula A2ij equal to minimum of A1ij comma A1i2 plus A12j. So we'll see how we find A213. So is the formula minimum of A113, comma A112 plus A123 it is minimum of 1, comma 6. It is 1. Simil similarly, we find all the remaining elements in the A2 matrices. This is a matrix A2 obtained from second iteration. In third iteration, we obtain matrix A3 using the formula. Using the same way we we fix third row and sec third column and also the we diagonal elements we find the rest element rest el all elements by using the formula a3ij equal to minimum of a2ij comma a2i3 plus a23j first we'll 
will find a a three one two for that uh, use the formula a three one two equal to minimum of a two one two a two one two comma a two one three plus a two three two so uh, it is minimum of four comma infinity it is four so similarly we find find all the elements of a three by applying this formula this is a matrix obtained from the third iteration in fourth iteration we find a for matrix such a way that we fix fourth column and fourth row of a3 and we change we are keep and uh, diagonal elements also unchanged we find the all other elements of a4 using the formula a4 ij equal to minimum of a3 ij comma a3 i4 plus a3 4j so we will see how we find the a4 one two in in a for matrix the formula will be minimum of a three one two and a three one four plus a three four two so it will be minimum of four comma fourteen to four so similarly we find the, all the elements of a a four matrix since there are only four vertices in our graph fourth iteration is the last iteration after fourth iteration we will obtain a four matrix a four matrix this matrix gives the shortest distance between all pair, pair of vertices in our network. So this 13 will be the shortest distance between the vertices 3 and 2. This 7 will be the shortest distance between the vertices 2 and 4. So this A4 gives the shortest distance between all pair of vertices. So this is the output of the Floyd-Washell algorithm. Thank you everyone for watching this video.